Today we are going to be building a no-code live AI outreach agent that reaches out to people on emails, SMS, WhatsApp, make live code calls and respond back and forth. We're going to be building this from scratch and it will be able to send thousands of messages and check if someone has booked the meeting on your calendar or not. If they haven't, it will remind them to seal the deal for you. So what you would need for getting this set up is just go high level and then attend. This is a standalone system and exactly what you need to get hundreds of appointments a month. So here's what's actually happening behind the scenes. We'll give this a lead list to reach out on all of the mentioned channels. It will personalize every single message for every single person. It's going to send out all those messages. We're going to wait for them to respond. If they don't respond after two hours, then we're going to send the follow up message. Once they do respond, it's going to analyze their message, whether it's positive or negative. If it's a negative one, then it will reiterate and try to convince them for a meeting over text. Once it does book a meeting, it's going to send us a reminder and start the lead nurturing process as well. And as I said, if someone says that, yeah, I will book a meeting, but they actually don't, then it's going to reach out back to them so that you never have to lose a lead again. So let's get into it. So here we are in our NA10. So first of all, the AI agent is going to read the sheet of the prospects that we are going to reach out to. Then it's going to process the information on these multiple AI agents that I have created in OpenAI's Playground. As you can see, I have created an AI call email generator, a researcher, a prompt writing, an AI calling script writer as well. Let's break it down one by one on how we're going to use them and how they will be able to help writing hyper-personalized emails and messages to hundreds of thousands of prospects every single day. So here we go. First of all, it's going to read the sheet and take all of the information that we have on the prospect, company name, email, phone number, every single little thing. I have connected it through my Google sheet, which has all the information, full name, industry, job title, sub role, every single one of these things. Then it's going to extract one lead one by one. You can decide how many leads do you want to do it for. And the next step is going to be researching that prospect. So here I have a chat GPT module, which is going to message the research assistant. Basically, that prompted this well enough to give us all the information we need on every single prospect. For all the resources, you can join my school community. So the first step is prompting that assistant. I want you to create a full-fledged research document for this prospect and company. We are going to give it all the personal information we have on them, the professional information, the summary of the job, the employment information, every single thing we have. It will then go ahead and research and give us a response back. We put this into a value proposition creator where we are going to create a full summary of how our product can help them do XYZ things. It's an offer creation expert that I have trained on multiple videos and hours of content through my research, my experience and some of Alex or Mozi tactics. I will create a value provision for each prospect that will be used to create scripts and emails further down the line. But for now, we are going to tell our company a website what we do essentially. We build AIs that can reach out to, you know, 100,000 prospects a day, basically get them hundreds of appointments a day, you know, stuff like that. What we are going to essentially tell it is our company website, what our offer is. Now you can put a lot more detail into this, but for just a demo purpose, I'll put in a simple line. We build AI SDRs that can reach out to 100,000 prospects a day and get them hundreds of appointments for our clients. So create a complete value proposition for this company on how we can help them. Once we get a value proposition created, we put that into another AI assistant, which we have uh, already created on the assistance playground there, which is a cold calling script writer, because we are not only going to reach out them on SMS and WhatsApp, we are also calling them immediately to try and convert them into an appointment. This is one of the best assistant that I have ever made for any kind of script writing. Make sure you get this from the school community to, from the link below. It has essentially my framework that I use to generate several thousand dollars for my clients. If you try to do it yourself, you would have to jot down information for hours and then come up with something to the level of what this is going to create for us. So this, again, we are going to ping it. I'm going to say you have to create a complete code calling script for our offer, as I mentioned below. Then our, you know, whatever the output is from our value proposition of how we were going to help them. And we are also going to give all the information you would need about the prospect to make a really personalized calling script for that particular prospect. Now, after that, we're going to create a AI cold email 
in a I had to create a couple of AI assistants to bring this to life. I just prompted this to shorten the email to an SMS format, but still keep our value proposition. Not more than 30 to 40 words max for our SMS. Otherwise, it will be kind of too costly for you to send it out either field. Because I use Google High Level for sending out SMS. Uh, you know, it depends upon you or what you're doing. But yeah, but still on every platform. Now our next step is to convert all of these things to a JSON so that we can set create a contact in Google level with all of the information that was just created by ChatGPT. Now, how this works is we have to kind of send a, and then the next step is going to be a prompt generator for retail AI. And as you guys know, I was previously using Blank for creating AI cold calling agents that were pretty profitable for my clients, but Blank didn't have really good customer support. So that's why I switched to retail and now we're using retail to send calls and do all of the cold calling, reactivation campaigns, calling people as soon as they sign up for a lead magnet, all of that stuff from retail only. If you're looking to choose a platform cold calling or any kind of sales related stuff, if you're creating any voice agent for any kind of sales related stuff, I highly recommend you to choose retail even better than WAPI because you have a lot more control over prompting, you know, because you know, you like, if you try to create long prompts, then like uh, the AI system WAPI kind of gets hallucinated. But if you switch to retail, it will not be the case. So the next step is to create a prompt from the cold calling script that we created from AI. Then you have to kind of create a prompt from the AI, it's, we have already created a prompt writing assistant. All, all we are going to do is give this our script and it will create the perfect prompt for retail. Then we are going to update that prompt in the assistant built out for retail and send a call from it. We are going to mark this column as reach no to yes so that we, you know, stop reaching out to the same people again and again and again and again. Now, this is how you can create cold calling scripts, SMS templates, email templates for prospects for reaching out to thousands of prospects a day, all on autopilot, all personalized. And you also learned how to send a call with retail AI, which is kind of pretty easy. If you want a detailed guide on how to do AI cold calls and AI sales related calls with retail, I've created a full a uh, one hour course on how to do that and I've covered literally everything. So if you want to learn how to create this code and how to just go ahead and send calls with retail for your agency, check that out. We are going to switch to go high level because as we have created a contact in go high level, the next step is to trigger an automation inside go high level, which have a trigger such as a contact created or a contact tag which I'm going to explain later to give you a 30,000 foot overview on how this workflow looks like. This is how it is. It's kind of complex. So it's pretty standalone setup that you would not need human sales reps to come in and do the work for you. And I'm explaining each and every single step. So you send your first initial SMS to that person. You wait for 12 hours and then the AI will analyze if the contact replied or not. If they have replied, then we are going to see if the reply was positive, negative, or they just didn't reply. If this was positive, then we're going to send them an SMS. If the uh, message was negative, then we're going to do an iteration SMS. We'll try and convey them back to book a call with us. Then we'll mark the prospect as uninterested. If they have said that they will fill the form, then we're going to wait for two hours and see if they have really did or not. We're going to tag, check if they have filled the form or book the call from main.com automation. Once we complete this, we can check if the prospect actually booked the meeting or not. If the prospect didn't reply to our first message, then after 12 hours, send them an SMS, wait for another 12 hours, then see if they have responded with the second SMS. If they have, then they're going to be treated in a similar way. If they would have answered to our initial SMS, we're going to check after 12 hours if they have booked a call or not. If they haven't, then we're going to send them an iteration message to convey them. This goes on for f at least five times before we give up on them. If they haven't replied to us after five follow-ups, then we mark them as inactive. If they have replied, then they're going to be treated in a similar way. If the answer is positive, then you're going to send them a message. If the answer is negative, 
then we're gonna send them a iteration message just to try to convey them to book a call with us if they're not interested after that then they're gonna just back off now let's focus on make.com let's see what happens if they said that they were going to book a call but they didn't so what we're going to do is add a tag of checking if they've booked an appointment from make automation so we are going to be updating the contact by adding a tag to it this will initiate this automation it will see all of the appointments from the go high level calendar and then it will see if they have booked the appointment then it will you know add the tag as booked if they haven't then they will tag the ad as not booked and it will send a follow-up call with retail ai to them again which uh, looks something pretty like this and none of your leads will go to waste you will be able to contact every single of your lead with this ai sdr system that you just need to be installed once in your business and it will run on autopilot you don't need to touch it you don't need to change the scripts you don't need to change anything if you want to get your hands on these resources this exact snapshot this workflow all of the AI assistants that I mentioned here, then join my school community below, which is absolutely free. It has all the resources that you would require to build AI SDRs from scratch. Also, how to train AI agents on scripts, how you need to stack your offers, how you need to design your multi channel outreach for your agency. I have mentioned literally everything in there. So, if you did get some value from this video, Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel so you can find more videos on how to create AI SDRs for your agency. Subscribe to this channel and you'll get weekly videos from now on because I'm trying to be really active and share everything that I've learned so far in 2024 in almost 8 months of my AI SDR creation journey when nobody was kind of you know, even talking about it. We like tried to play it for ourselves and for our clients as well and it turned out to be pretty good so i'm going to be sharing everything uh on this channel so i highly recommend you to subscribe and i'll see you in the next room peace out bye